Hello and welcome to Lonnie's. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a loop in a line using the figure of eight loop knot. This loop knot is very handy in coarse fishing for um, tying hooks and nylons or hair rigs to, so you can set your hair rigs up at home so you just clip, simply clip on as well as like uh, method feeder rigs as well. So here we go. Okay so to tie the loop get your line, double the line back on itself and you form like a fake loop. You then push the, line, the loop down and create another loop like so. So effectively, if this was 12 o'clock, the loop would now be pointing out at 3 o'clock. You then pinch it with your other hand. You then grab the loop, fold it over, back over, and so now the loop's facing 9 o'clock. You then grab the loop, put it under the other uh, loops there, and bring it through. So move slightly, so obviously try not to do that. And then, as you bring the loop through, you can wet the line and pull down tight. And as you can see, that's why it's called a figure of eight there, is it's forming a figure of eight in that, that knot. Pull it down, pull it tight, set the knot, make sure it's not going to slip on you. Cut the tag line off, and there you have your figure of eight loop knot, which you can use for hooks and nylons, method hair rigs, carp hair rigs as well. Uh, it's good for if you tie this in two lots of lines. It's good for joining two lines as well to get you out of a bit of trouble if you need to. There we go. Okay, so there you go. That's how you tie the figure of eight loop knot. Sorry, I'll start again. Okay, so that's how you tie the figure eight loop knot. Like I said, it's a very handy knot, a simple one to learn, and very good as well, um, connecting lines together if you need to, especially like hooks and nylons as well. So, thanks for watching, see you again soon.